Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the Tesla, more importantly. Now today, it's actually a semi-nice day outside. It was like low 40s yesterday, but today, today it's like 57. We're gonna get a quick wash on this thing because, well, as you can see, I have this crazy wrap on, but I haven't quite finished it. I gotta do the backstone. I'm hoping to get that done either today and or tomorrow, but we gotta wash the car, and then I'm gonna tell you why I'm waiting to buy a new Tesla. Or why you should buy it, wait to buy a new Tesla or why you shouldn't. But either way, uh, let's get this car washed and then we'll get right to it. Ah, the keys. Uh, but anyways, just, just for background, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm Kyle. I have a 2014 Model S P85, meaning it's rear wheel drive, no autopilot, no nothing. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, I either need to upgrade, get another car, or maybe both. More to come. Uh, we gotta go back this way. Gotta grab the hose, the bucket, and I got my mess of wrap, heat gun, extension cord junk there that I still need to get some shelves for. I haven't done that yet. Anyways, let's get this thing washed and then I'll, I'll tell you why I'm at least waiting to potentially upgrade or get a new Tesla Model S. Or three. I don't know. More to come. We'll see. <laughs> posted a question recently about uh, they were looking at I guess a Model S Raven and should they get it or should they wait for like the plaid drive train and all that stuff and I think there's a lot of things you have to take into account here. I mean first off I have a super old Model S here. I have no autopilot, rear wheel drive only, it's a P85, uh, my total range is like 253-ish fully charged working with the front nose cone. Um, yeah I mean there's still some very nice features here don't get me wrong fully electric, we finally got a dedicated charger, um, don't have to pay for gas, you still get awesome performance, around 4 seconds, 0 to 60, all that good stuff, you get the auto fold mirrors, you get air suspension, uh, home link, you get the Tesla app, heat and cool the car, you can precondition it before you get in, so when it's really cold outside and you go somewhere, you can preheat it, which is awesome. On top of that, uh, I do still have free unlimited supercharging, so road trips are nice and easy, and uh, the battery and drivetrain are under full warranty for another, let's see, I think it's eight years, so 2022, so another like two years-ish. Unlimited mileage, however, I do run out of the, the like overall bumper to bumper warranty either February or when my car hits 100,000 miles on the odometer. So uh, that's kind of what I'm working with. And so for me, well, if you haven't seen it, go check out my recent video. I did why I regret buying this car. Um, now I don't regret buying the car as a whole, but there are a couple things that I do regret. Check out the video, I'm not gonna get into it here. But point being, point being is that I, I've thought about it. I've thought about like get, trading that in, selling it, getting a Model 3 Performance, or upgrading to a newer Tesla, or buying a second car and keeping the Tesla for now. And it's, it's, there's been a ton of scenarios that have gone through my head. And as I mentioned, when someone recently asked about whether or not they should, you know, wait to hear about the Plaid Model S or wait for the Plaid drivetrain Model S or the Raven Model S. I think there's a couple things you do have to think about. So uh, recently, the reason I thought about this video too was I saw, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with him, uh, MKBHD YouTube channel, um, Mar Marquez Brownlee. I feel like I'm butchering his name, but that's I think that's it. Um, so he does a lot of tech reviews and he's, uh, well, he is a Tesla owner and he just upgraded to a new Tesla. And just like with normal tech, like an iPhone, right? They roll out, they roll out a new iPhone every year or so. Uh, there's always updates coming, but you kind of know the cycle, right? That's the problem with Teslas, right? Um, over the last, I guess, like two years, there have been a lot of like changes and upgrades. But the biggest takeaway from Marquez was that there's really not going to be any major refreshes aside from, I would say, the Plaid powertrain coming out next year. And the Plaid powertrain is essentially three motors on the car and a larger battery as well. So I would assume range is gonna be better 
and well obviously acceleration so the way to think about it is the plaid powertrain is a way to test out the tesla roadster powertrain right now uh before they put it into the roadster i, I think there's there's one big thing here right if you're looking at getting a performance model s then yes you should definitely wait probably for the plaid if you can wait a year wait a year like keep your current model s or keep your current car and wait for the plaid powertrain because you're going to get a bigger battery better performance and all of that jazz now it's probably going to cost you a little bit more too so this is another thing to consider right now the performance model s starts at like ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars so just under a hundred thousand i would assume they're going to still probably keep that but then also offer the plaid powertrain now I don't know, I don't know though, I don't know, right? Nobody knows. For me, the biggest thing was I bought my car, I knew that the P100D was already out at the time. There were used P85Ds, P90Ds. There were faster cars than mine, I knew that. Um, now, they were also they also just come out with the, the Model 3 Performance, which is an awesome car in and of itself. Now for me though, the problem was is that I didn't take into account that there was gonna be a huge amount of Model S's traded in in order to get the Model 3s. And I think that some people traded in their Model S's for the Model 3's because more affordable, just a cheaper car in general. And um, well, they didn't need the Model S. So because of that, my car quickly, quickly dropped in value. Uh, just like it was, it was sort of like buying a brand new $50,000 car. You drive off the lot and it loses 10 grand right away. So that really like, yeah, that was a nice punch to the gut right there. Just, oof. All right, anyways. Um, so after that happened, uh, they announced the Raven uh, Model S and X's, I think at the beginning of 2019. Um, so then, you know, people probably waited to get those technologies. If you're looking at the Model S Plaid, you're probably looking at like $125,000 to $150,000 car for that performance Plaid powertrain Model S. That would be my guess because I believe Elon said it was going to be priced a little bit above, but it's also not going to be ready for a year. Now, if you want a very fast sedan, you could go for the Raven now. And then if you're also in the market for a Roadster, you just get the Roadster for 200K, which is a lot of money. But the point being, you either get the Plaid Powertrain Model S or the Roadster. You don't really need both. So if you're in, in that, you know, 1% of people that can afford both of those, you know, you could just get the Raven Model S Performance now and not worry about it. Um, that car has all the hardware. It's, you know, gonna be much cheaper than the Plaid Powertrain. Uh, you're still going to get most of the benefits. The range is still fantastic. You're getting like th over 300 miles of range. Um, and, and I don't really think there's a need to wait, right? The Raven is a fantastic car. It has the newer upgraded drivetrains from the Model 3 that they put into the S's and X's. Uh, it has good battery technology. You get a great warranty. Uh, it still does 0 to 60 in like 2.4 se seconds. as a quarter mile, like a 10, 6, 10, 7, something like that. It, it's a ridiculously quick, fast an awesome car that you don't have to uh, do a lot of maintenance on or pay for gas. So it is it is fantastic and I would say, don't wait, go ahead and pull the trigger. But for me, I'm not gonna be in a position to buy a Model S and a Roadster. If I can even afford them, I'm gonna be financing them like crazy. And um, well, for me, it's, it's one or the other, right? So the question is, do I just keep this car for now and wait like two, three years for the Roadster to come out and just go for that, you know, save up as much money as I can and, and just go crazy. The problem is, again, it's gonna lose a ton of money, but it's gonna be a ton of fun. The other option is to just wait for the, uh, the Plaid powertrain to come out. And then you'll also see uh, current Model S performances drop in value a ton. So that's another position. If you wanna save some money on like a Raven Model S performance, wait for the Plaid powertrain to actually come out. Because once it d does, the people that are gonna probably trade in for that are people that have the top of the line Model S's, AKA the current Raven performance models. So I think those are the biggest things to consider. Depending on what you want and what you have the budget for, the Model S Raven is a fantastic car. It's absurdly quick, quicker than pretty much any other car on the road, any other main big production car on the road that's under $100,000, definitely. Uh, bang for your buck, it is fantastic. Uh, go for that, you have the supercharging network, um, you'll have it right now, the Raven Model S, all the newer technology, full self-driving capabilities and all that good stuff. If you really want the latest and greatest, then 
an option would be to wait a year for the plaid powertrain and then go for it because otherwise what's going to happen is as soon as that plaid powertrain comes out if you get a raven model s right now performance I, I i'll bet that that value drops very very quickly because people are going to trade in their performance ravens for those plaid powertrain model s's that's just that's the market segment that's going to go there right it's going to be the, the 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 top of the market model s's are going to go to that plaid powertrain um and and you're just going to see a huge drop in value um so if you really want that plaid powertrain the best of the best model s go for it if you have the money, if you're getting a road surf, anything like that, definitely just go for the Raven now. I would say skip the Plaid Powertrain Model S and wait for the road surf to come out because, well, there's really no need to have both. I, I just, I wouldn't think so. Um, so that's kind of my take on, on waiting for the Plaid Powertrain or getting the Performance Raven. Um, now, obviously, if you are thinking about a Model 3 Performance, you might as well just go for it. Supposedly, there's no Plaid Powertrains going to the Model 3s, so why wait right like just pull the trigger the technology's there i wouldn't expect any major updates to the model 3 right now they're still trying to ramp up production they're only bringing the plaid to the model s they're working on that they're working on the model y i wouldn't expect any major changes to the model 3 anytime soon there have been no hints at it either from elon um and then the only other thing is the truck i'm very excited for the truck so that's coming out on november 21st is that like two weeks on a thursday something like that um so very excited for that I want to see the specs. I want to see this price point. I want to see, you know, performance numbers and all that stuff. That could be an interesting car. Um, and, and I would assume that it probably has the same drive units as, you know, the Model 3, the Model X right now, like the whole, like, drive units that went from the Model 3 into the Raven S's. I, I would assume that it's those same or similar drive units. Um, I would just be curious on the battery size. Like, I would hope that because it's a truck, there's more space. They might be able to stack some extra battery cells, like in the truck bed or something. Maybe get 120, 150 kilowatt hour battery, better range, which allows you to get, you know, a, a better range towing as well and all that jazz. So lots of things in the pipeline, lots of things to look forward to. I'm excited to see what they come out with. And there's always so many things to consider when you're looking at upgrading or potentially moving to a newer car and then worrying about like newer technology coming out right away. Um, because another crazy thing is uh, Marquez in his interview did say that when he bought the P100D with ludicrous mode, he literally bought it two weeks before they announced that there was like newer hardware going into the cars for like the, uh, the smart summon, um, navigate on autopilot, all that stuff he didn't get because he literally ordered his car two weeks earlier than when that was announced so that obviously you know was even worse than my situation but the cars are still fantastic i don't think you're going to regret it um obviously there are a few things that i do regret with my car purchase but for the most part i don't regret regret the overall purchase of the car it's been fantastic the performance is incredible there's so much space in here um everybody still loves the car when they get into it and uh i don't have to pay for gas don't have to pay for gas, don't have to pay for maintenance, it's it's awesome. You know, pull the trigger, but think about what's best for you. I think it's gonna be far and few people that should wait for the Model S Plaid to come out. Uh, it, it's it's really if you just want, you know, one car and, and you don't wanna pay the 200 grand plus for the Roadster, then maybe stretch your budget, go for the Model S Plaid and that will be your only car. Uh, but then I would definitely say wait, otherwise you're gonna lose a ton of money on the Model S Raven performance that's out now as soon as those plaids come out. It's just, yeah, yeah, that's what happened to me. All right, so if you're getting like, just like the long range Model S or X, uh, I think the Model S is started at like 80,000 and the X is at like 85 or something like that. If you're looking at those, I would say just pull the trigger, right? I think the only time or the only situation where you may want to wait is, is if you're going for like the Raven or the plaid powertrain performance models right so i think part of the reason why i'm i'm waiting this car serves the purposes that it needs to for the time being an autopilot would be fantastic the smart summon all those cool features it would be great to do car reviews and all that stuff but i, I i'm very excited for the plaid powertrain i'm also excited to see what the truck is going to be like and and why well, i just don't want to spend the money and then immediately lose that value on like a raven performance model s i thought about like leasing one but i think the shortest lease options are like three years and you're still spending a ton on the lease, like you're making like $1,300 a month payments with $8,000 down and that just, it doesn't make sense to me. More to come. Um, I'm actually going to Texas in a couple days. I, 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 might, I might be looking at a car there. Maybe, we'll see, more to come potentially, but uh, I doubt I'll get it, but I'm gonna go check it out and uh, lowball them, see what kind of offer, offer they'll give me, but 
yeah. For the time being, I'm keeping my Model S and, and I'm just gonna enjoy it. If you guys enjoyed the content though, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, thanks for watching.